Well, good Monday morning. Glad to see you today on this November the 9th. And uh, we're coming up on the first full week after our national election for president. And I know that uh, there are a lot of mixed feelings, uh, uh, disappointment, uh, anger, uh, wondering, uh, where do we go from here? Uh, many of us still not convinced that uh, there has not been issues uh, that are uh, being covered up. Things that, uh, in spite of what the uh, the news media, if you can call it that, tells us, there's still a lot of questions about who really has won the election. And uh, for those of you who wonder uh, about me, uh, I think it, basically here's what I'm saying. First of all, it's not over, no matter what the... Uh, the media and the press claim. Uh, I think there are some things that are going to come out. I think there are some things that, whether it comes out through law uh, and litigation or whether it goes all the way to the Supreme Court, I think uh, we will be a long time before uh, the issue of it is settled. And yes, I, I know what many of you are thinking. Uh, I, I don't have a a tinfoil hat on, but I am prepared to be a conspiracy theorist because I don't understand how more people can vote for President Trump than have voted for a Republican since, well, probably goes all the way back uh, further than most of us go back. And uh, how you can call off the counting uh, in the evening of Tuesday and uh, with Trump leading and come back the next morning uh, with him not leading. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't anybody write anything about that and, and say, you know, uh, you're just, uh, uh, you're being a downer. I'm, I'm being a realist. Uh, and and I think uh, uh, I really don't know what to say, to be honest with you, on this morning, uh, six days later. Uh, I, I don't know really what to say. And, and so what do you say when you don't know what to say? Well, it, it might interest you to know that uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, came to a point in his life when he didn't know what to say. I mean, he came to a point when he even asked the question. In John chapter 12, he's just entered the city of Jerusalem and that preparing for that final week. And he knows why he's there. And uh, the disciples are not sure. They followed him there. Thomas had said, you may remember, he said, let's go with him uh, that we may die with him. Uh, but it's shortly after that triumphant entry when Jesus is speaking. And uh, knowing that the time is near for his trip to the cross, listen to what Jesus said in John 12 and verse 27. Jesus said, now is my soul exceedingly troubled. And what shall I say? <laughs> I, I would have never thought that the Lord Jesus would pardon me, come to a point in his life where he would say, what do you say when you don't know what to say? But Jesus did. He said, as he faced the cross, now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? And then he went on and finished the sentence or the thought, Father, save me from this hour. We know that he did say, Father, if there's any other way Let's do it another way. But he said, Father, save me from this hour. And then he immediately said, no, but for this cause, I came unto this hour. And he said, what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, for this hour I came. 
we don't know but what we're here for this hour. And, and he said, Father, should I say save me from this hour? But for this cause came I unto this hour. So what do you say when you don't know what to say? Listen to what Jesus said. He said, Father, glorify thy name. <laughs> Lord, when we don't know what to say or how to react or how to respond, when we see things falling apart all around us, when, when we see our country literally at the threshold of socialism and communism, what do we say? Well, the first thing we say is, Father, you get the glory. Father, you glorify yourself in me. Glorify thy name. Get the glory out of it, Lord. And then, verse 28 says, Then came there a voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it, and I will glorify it again. Now let's just camp out right there for just a moment. Jesus said, I don't know what to say. Remove me, take it away, Lord, or no, I came for this very reason. I will say, Father, glorify your name. And there was a voice from heaven saying, I have already glorified my name and I will glorify my name. Let that thought come to your heart when you don't know where to turn, what to do, what to say, whether it belongs to a political election or anything else, when you don't know what to say, say, Father, you get the glory, Father, glorify yourself. And then came that voice from heaven saying, I have and I will. And those standing around who heard it were dumbfounded. And Jesus said, that voice was for your sakes. Wow. I need a word like that today. That word was for my sake. For him to say, don't get excited. Yeah, it's going to be tough. No matter what the end result is, and trust me, I don't think we'll hear the end result of the election until the Supreme Court rules on it. But he did say, I have and I will, and that's enough for me. Now, tomorrow we're going to uh, talk a little bit about Revelation, but not we're not going to get into Revelation tomorrow. We're, I just want to tell you what I think about teaching through the book of Revelation. We're going to do something else this week, and we'll talk about Revelation next week. But uh, remember that if we do go through Revelation in Coffee with Doc, uh, maybe the next week or the week after that. Uh, it's going to be brief. There'll be brevity throughout the whole thing because I don't want to get bogged down uh, in it, and you can really get bogged down. Uh, there will not be a lot, a lot of speculation, and this is that kind of prophecy because I don't know, and uh, nobody else does know the times and the dates either. Uh, so there won't be a lot of that, and uh, think about that, pray about that, and let me know in the comments there if you still want me to teach through the book of Revelation uh, in these uncertain days. Well, bless y'all. Y'all have a great day today, and uh, let's get back here tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to talk about uh, what to do while waiting the official results. Even though some think we have the official results, we don't yet. And what do you do while you're waiting? We go back to the basics, and we'll talk about that tomorrow and through the rest of the week. God bless you. Y'all have a great day today.